Absolutely not. I could not disagree more with that. Um, I think it's really concerning that we actually have 56 MPs across the House currently under investigation um, for sexual misconduct. And the fact is, he was in the House of Commons in one of the most powerful positions in the country there to represent his constituents just watching porn. He gets an 85k salary to do that. And you could actually argue that is a form of cyber flashing. The fact that he's in one in the House of Commons just doing that, I think his constituents would be arguing, well, why is he not paying attention to the debate and actually, you know, prioritising the issues that matter to them most? So I think that there's a lot of concerns there. And also, there is absolutely no argument he should have resigned. And it's good that he did. So, Sophie, were you to be, were I to be working on a checkout in Tesco, I would rightly lose my job if I was caught watching porn on a personal computer or indeed a phone, wouldn't you expect a parliamentarian to be held at an even higher standard than, you know, a, a colleague in Tesco? My question is about this, though, Darren. Is this about watching porn or is this about him not doing his job? Because if this is about watching porn, well, there's nothing wrong, really, with watching porn. Most people in this world watching porn. So is this but moral that's in the workplace, he was though, watching porn? Or, I agree. Or, Consenting adults can watch pornography until their heart's content. But the issue here is that he was watching it in the workplace in the House of Commons, isn't it? So he, he wasn't doing his job. I think this is, this is the problem, that he was distracted and he wasn't necessarily doing his job. But then is that different to all of the MPs that sit on their phones on Twitter, playing Angry Birds, playing Candy Crush, not turning up to debates? Is, is that any different? Or is this a moral outcry because it is porn? That's, that's my question with this.